Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. This is the third time I've attempted to record this video alone after spending like two hours on Spigot looking for plugins to do tutorials on because XSplit doesn't like me today. So why don't we just hop into this because I've said this four times or three times, however long now, and I want to get it over with. So this is the plugin Username History created by Asterix06 or something. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Pretty much you can look up anybody's username in the whole of Minecraft while you are in game. So you could do slash username history of the player's username and you can get all their past username when they were created and the months are localized in the OS language. So if your language is Spanish, these will appear in Spanish. If it's English, you'll just will appear in English. The plugin does not have a configure file, but I have suggested that in the past videos that you add one, so the author is probably watching this, I would recommend you add one to allow the message to be customizable, what colors you want, all of that stuff. The only permission and command in the game... Yeah, in the plugin is slash username history the player name and then the permissions username history not use. Pretty easy, pretty simple to use all of that stuff. Let's hop in game. There is one bug I have found. Um, this is the wrong account. This is the account I want. There is one bug I found. If you type the command, uh, the colors will not appear in 1.8. But I have a feeling because this plugin was actually created in 1.13, that's the reason. But I have noted it to the author so that by the time this video releases, because this is pre recorded about 12 days before it actually comes out, it will probably be fixed. And just go ahead and check on it now. It should be fixed by the time this video releases. So, why don't we take a look at the command? We just do slash username, because that's another, uh, 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 it's like I can't speak after recording for 10 times. It's like really weird like that. Slash username, you can see the color is messed up. There's a question mark here. That's what I noted to the author, and they should fix it pretty soon if they can. Slash username, and then any username. So, let's say noodles. All the past usernames for noodles. Pretty useful, right? So, there is my noodles YT username. So, you got noodles, your, noodles to dad825. That was this account. Noodles0711 underscore alt or NoodlesYT. And then you can look up anybody who's off the server as well. So let's take a quick look before I do that at my alt's username. And this is what it will look like if it's your first username. It will say his or first, her first username. Pretty simple like that. Now, if you want to take a look at someone's username who's off the server, you can do slash username and their username. Let's say Hypixel. Hypixel. There we go. So you can look up pretty, like you see there, high pickles, high pixel. You can look up anybody's first username. What about the real dot jar? Now this is, this is what it looks like when you have um, a lot of usernames. So it's gonna pop up. So it's gonna say eleven usernames. So these are all dot jars usernames. Sorry if I'm leaking this to the world dot jar. I know you're watching this video. So here's all of them when they were changed, when it was changed around and all of this so it's quite useful because you can look up anybody's username and see what their past ones were and you can see like hey this player was hacking in the past or scamming people they just switched their username maybe i should ban them again or something it's quite simple right quite easy to use and everything i find it very nice to have just because it's so easy and lightweight to use why don't we check like um rex the mon and we can look at it oh look at all his old user wow Look at this. Rex521125. Rex the Mon. Why did you change it to no hacks just <laughs> Wow, Rex. That's lame. I'm gonna I'm gonna tag you when this video comes out, Rex. So you can use it to make fun of friends, obviously, but you can also use it to check out old, other people's old usernames and all of that. So if you want to download this, it is on Spigot. It is free. You can download it from there. We cannot give support. It's not our plugin, but if you want to get support. I heard the author has a Discord, so you can go check that out on the Spigot page. If you need support for any of our plugins, if that's why you're here for some reason, uh, you can get it through our Discord. It's bjhdevelopment.com slash Discord. You can check out our 40 to 80 plugins now we have or something at bjhdevelopment.com slash plugins. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I also wanted to take a quick note and say thank you for all the support you have been giving this channel in the last few weeks. It's been amazing. We are now over 250 subscribers, and we are closing in on 30,000 views, which is insane. Thank you so much. I can't wait to put out more content that you will enjoy. Please let me know other plugins you want me to review down in the comments below. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.